Hey everyone, DuckDuck84 here, back with more Popful Mail, and we're going to go through the mines today. Although, before we get too far into that, we're actually going to go do a little backtracking to pick up some treasure chests that we couldn't get until now. And, what do you have to say? This is not at all what I expected. Hey mister, this is the old dwarf mine, isn't it? Da, конечно. Hmm. Sure. This is a place all right, but there is hardly anything left of the little fellows. Except the old sanctuary at the top. Hey, what's a nice kid like you doing in this place? Looking for a party? <laughs> well, actually I'm looking for a very old dwarf. You haven't seen one recently, have you? Couldn't say. See, I've only been here a few days myself. Ask some of the other miners. Maybe they know. Okay, I'll give that a shot. I didn't expect to find him easily. Thanks anyway, bud. Okay, well, we also have Gaw as a playable character. Which, he has the highest jump for all three, but... Hey, have you seen an old dwarf in this stink hole? Mumbles hasn't been down here in a long time. Try the sanctuary at the top of the mine. Okay, now we know what to do, but anyway, like I was saying, his trade-off seems to be that he's a little slower walking. Now, before we go do some backtracking, we're going to go buy Gaw his third weapon. Like I said, you can buy this back at Deviant Den if you want to, since we're going to be doing some backtracking, but it's better to do it here just because you also can pick up his third set of armor, whereas the store in Deviant Den only has his second set, so just get some extra buying done out of the way. And Gaw has kind of a mixture of ranged and close weapons. Right now we got a uh, melee weapon, but his fire breath is a, of course, a long range, and I think his second weapon, which is tail attack, is also a close range weapon. But Anyway, we are going to now do some of that backtracking. And we're going to go back to the Elf Woods, and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so now remember when we were up at the other tree, we saw the two treasure chests up here that we couldn't get? Well, Gaw enables us to get them, and they are some bananas and an apple. And now before we go back to the mines, also going to go pick up some healing items in the elf village. So another cool thing that I like that they did in this game is, you know, and usually in most RPGs when you have the townspeople and you talk to them, they say the same thing over and over again. However, here, they even change just the basic NPC dialogue, depending on who you have as your player. Oh, dear me, it's a m -m -m monster Oh, you're not going to hurt me? Sorry, I mistook you for an evil monster. On second thought, you're kind of cute. Say, what are you doing later? I'm picking up elven chicks. Got that monster magnetism. See, even the uh, store sellers say stuff differently. You know, it's not a big thing, but it's just a uh, nice little extra, so, you know, it might be fun going back to some of the places you visited before and see what they have to say differently. Rumor has it that Bountyville was destroyed by three warriors. I'm so scared. That's the uh, starting town that was in the cutscene. And actually, the last cutscene, too, that once it was destroyed. But... Now that we've done that chore, I will see you back at the mine. Okay, back at the mines. Now we can continue on. And just like in the uh, last world, I also think this one has a pretty good background music. In fact, most of the background music in this game is pretty good. Hey, have you seen an old dwarf in this stink hole? 
jumping catfish. It's a cursed turn gollywog. Ah! G -g -g get away from me, you beast! Wait a minute. I never saw a talking gollywog. So what in tarnation are you? Well, anyway, yeah, I seen the dwarf in here sometimes. He sells gadgets to us miners. Good, good, good. Where does he live? Nah. Don't know, don't care. I'm a-digging for gold, Junior, and I ain't going home to my woman until I find some gold, gold, gold. Talk to Papa. Tell him how to find you. Oh, great. Now he chooses to lose his mind. Just wonderful. He's got that them gold fever. But yeah, it's not confirmed, but you remember in Tree Sun Village, there was that one elf that said that the other elf's husband uh, went to the mine and she thought he was doing something funny. Well, I think that's him there. Not confirmed, you know, only hinted at, but another nice little touch to the game. Hey, have you seen an old dwarf in his stink hole? Yikes! It's the biggest freaking bat I've ever seen! Scram! Beat it! Get out of here! Ouch! Hey, you bit me, you fat, no good freaking parasite! Ha! You deserved it, you mountain hick! Gah. You tell him, Gah. Well, now we got to do some killing, actually. And actually, these guys are a little bit of a pain, and they're easier, I think, to deal with with Tat here. Let's see if I can... It's not hitting them where I want them to, but let's see. Ow. Yep, that didn't work out as planned. Actually, now I think about maybe male might be better. Because you can only attack them when their eyes open. Yep, male's better at that. There we go. Now let's go back to Gaw. And let's see, is there any... Nope, no miners over here, but... Now we can jump over here. And though these guys take a few hits. It's worth it because these are the treasure mummies which drop gold bullion and so pretty easy to kill and they're a good way to grind out some money although you can only have four gold gold bullions in your inventory before they stop dropping them so all you have to do is just go sell them and they'll start dropping them again so what we're going to do is we're going to kill these guys for a bit so we can get the money we need to get the rest of the equipment for the other two characters, Mail and Tat, because they can pick up their third level armor sets here as well. Okay, so it actually was five gold boy on, not four, that you can get until they stop dropping them, but the good thing is, is you basically right above the weapon shop, so don't have to backtrack too far. Okay, I made the mistake again. It's still, it is four. I just had one gold bullion in my inventory, so that didn't count against what they dropped. Okay, so we've got all our equipment now, but, you know, depending on your money situation, you really probably only need to repeat, you know, killing the treasure mummies about three times four at the max um, to buy all the equipment. Although, you want to still make sure that you have four gold bullion in your inventory, because you remember Mr. Gold Fever over here? I wish the gold would speak up. I can't find it if it won't talk to me. My wife, 
Yeah, she's waiting for me. But I ain't going home without some gold. No siree. Well, some might say I'm bragging. Or maybe it's the mine air. But my wife, Mithya, is the prettiest woman that ever lived. If you're at the great tree, you stop by, you hear? Oh, and tell her old Jasper's gonna be home as soon as he finds some gold. Okay, so it is confirmed that the uh, lady who lost her wedding ring is, uh, that is her husband. I wish the gold would speak up. I can't find it if it won't talk to me. My wife? Wait. Yeah, Come she's on. waiting for me. But I ain't going home without some gold. No siree. Supposedly you were supposed to give this well, to him. Well, some might say I'm bragging. Or maybe it's the mine air. But my wife, Mithya, is the prettiest woman that ever lived. If you're at the great tree, you stop by, you hear? Oh, and tell her old Jasper's gonna be home as soon as he finds some gold. Okay, well, maybe you have to do that later, but you're supposedly supposed to give him four gold bullion. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, no, I was just going to say, maybe talking with mail would change it, but I don't think so. Anyway, hello. We're showing up the tunnels beyond this point. I can't allow you to pass now. Try again later. So, you can't go that way. Well, we know which way we can go, although there's still going to be a little bit of uh, backtracking to get some hidden treasures in this level. Well, not really hidden. We saw them when we entered. We just couldn't get them. Also, I think uh, between uh, after finishing this level, I might go back to Hot Springs Cave because there's no item shop in this world. So if you need to buy healing items, you have to go back to the uh, Hot Springs Gaw Town. But I think I will do that in between levels. Well, now we can go over this way. Let's get Gaw back out. And now that we are up here, you remember those treasure chests? Well, we can go down this way and land right there. Although, then carefully land there and it's more gold bullion, more gold bullion, and once again, more gold bullion. So, not, again, not necessary, just helps you out with the money situation if you need it. Although, now we gotta go all through this again. But, uh, it's an alternative to farming the gold mummies. And, just to be sure, are you gonna let us do that now? I wish the gold would speak up. I can't find it if it won't talk to me. Nope. Okay. Now for reals, we can actually make some progress. Back to Gaw. So now that we've gotten all the secrets in here, let us continue upwards. Later on, we can get a shortcut. That area that was blocked off, I think, fixes itself later on. Nope. No one there. It's a pretty desolate mine for being such uh, a plethora of treasure. Well, let's get 
mail out in case there's more of those clouds. Nope. These guys. I'll deal with you from far away. Thank you. Now, these are just regular mummies. They do not drop gold bullion, just your average bags of gold. Man, I'm, oh, there we go. Anything over here? Nothing. Well, one of these days I'll make this jump, but apparently it's not today. Maybe I have to get Gaw out to do it. This is easier to jump. Really? Thank you. Of all the players, it was Tat to do it. Ooh, that's not good. But we got through. Now, let's see, where are we? Is this the axe, I think? There's nothing over here. Yeah, I think that just leads us back down to where the treasure mummies are. If you jump down that way. Ooh, and treasure chest. More gold bullion. Let's get Gaw out with his controllable thing. Hey, Gaw. Or not Gaw. Oh, ah, monsters have stormed the sanctuary. Oh, I'm trapped. G -g get away. Relax. I'm not going to eat you. I am not a monster. Uh, uh, I'm Glug, a dwarf master artisan. Uh, uh, are you sure you don't eat people? You know, uh, I'm mostly fat and wouldn't be very tasty. God doesn't eat people. God eats fish. Say, if you're a dwarf, why don't you have a beard? That's the old look. Nowadays, pretty much anything goes. Some of the dwarves don't like it, but I suppose their ways of thinking will eventually die out. <laughs> well, these days, God runs into many strange elves and dwarves. They even make French people seem normal. Elves? <laughs> you know, I have a good friend who's an elf. Maybe you know him. His name's Slick. Slick? Slick? This guy's friends with Slick? Oh, so you do know him. That guy's the greatest. He's one of the nuttiest fruitcakes I've ever met. How do you stand him? Well, maybe you caught him on an off day. He's really very nice. Anyway, enough chit-chat. What can I do for you? Well, can you tell me about the Black Seal? Sure, I know about the legend of the Black Seal. I've read about it on the Great Stone Wall. I once asked Mumbles to explain it to me, but he's not too keen on talk, so all I know is what I've seen on the wall. And I'm afraid that's not much. Thanks for nothing, Chub Chub Chubbo. Yeah. Okay, well, nice little backstory. Don't know how you can be friends with Slick with all the problems he causes. Um, I'm kind of busy right now. Do you mind leaving me alone? Okay, I'll leave you alone. But, now I think we can go back this way. Jump over here.
And, yep, land right here, because there's the treasure mummies over there. And, actually, might just be easier to go all the way down here. Because I'm wondering, let's get mail out in case we have to deal with those clouds. One more try. Can I give you the gold now? I no, I can't. gold would speak up. Can't find it if it won't talk to me. Okay, so I think we can go up here now. Yep. Be careful. Venusio is a is in there and he's kinda touchy to deal with. So now we can just basically, if you want to go through the level, just go all the way here. Oh, where do you think you're going? What? I'm just passing through here. Who are you, bub? We're members of the Rebel Army. What of it? Well, isn't that special? Listen, I've got no beef with you, so why don't you just step aside and let me through, Buster? This passage is off limits to commoners, so get lost. Well, fine. Okay, so they won't let me through. So does that mean... Now what? Maybe I gotta go talk to the dwarf again. Bear with me. Okay, so actually what you got to do is... Once you've talked to the Rebel Guards, now... I just want to do it with mail just to see what he says. Now you can give this guy his gold. What's that? The guards won't let you pass. Well, shoot. Don't worry about them. They're as harmless as a couple of tree frogs. But I have to get past that door. Do you know of a way to get around them? A bribe, maybe? Well, there might be one way. No, I don't really remember too good. I've got to keep digging for gold so I can go home. Now, if and I had some gold bars, my life would be so much easier. I might just remember something. Well, I happen to have those gold bars. Oh, my memory just cleared up. The rebel army leader is named Venutolo, or something. Anyway, he likes dwarf handiwork. Try bringing a piece to the guards. I just bet he gets you in. Okay, now the trade-off is once you give him the gold, you can't farm gold bullion from the treasure mummy, so make sure that you have all the money you need at this point. Now listen up. The rebel army's head guy has a real eye for dwarf craftsmanship. If and you brought him one of them trinkets, well, I just bet he'd let you through. Well, you're on your own now. Nice doing business with you, but I've got to get back to my wife in Tree Sun Village. Then why are you still digging here? You should be leaving. But, yeah, so now, climb back up to the top of the mine, and... Wait, actually, we need to go... We don't need to go that way anymore. No, wait, we do need to go that way, because the other way just leads to the guards. Okay, so now that we know they like dwarven craftsmanship, and we know where a dwarf is, we can accomplish that. Hi there. What brings you back here so soon? With a cute guy like you, how can I stay away? Say, Glug, um, I was admiring your work, and, well, I got to thinking... Do you suppose you can make a trinket for little old male? A trinket? Oh, you mean one of my skilled arts and creations. I'd be happy to give you one. But why do you want one of those? Well, the rebel army is blocking the way through the mine. But their leader is very fond of dwarf craftsmanship. So I was going to trade him a trinket for passage through the mine. Get it? Well, you're a good friend of Slick's, and those are hard to find. Okay, I'll give you one. Here, take this one. 
It's one of my very favorite pieces. Really? Oh, Glug, you're the greatest! I won't forget this. Be very careful with that trinket, though. All dwarf crafts have hidden powers. Okay, so... Show you in the inventory there. Little mithril trinket. Now... We should be able to continue. Let's go get Gaw out. And let's get out of here. Now we can just wait. Um, we had to go back to the bottom, wasn't it? Now we got it. Again, I've noticed that since, you know, levels that you have to do a lot of backtracking usually don't have a boss, and this one's no exception. No boss to fight in this one, but there will be plenty of bosses in the next one. And let's get mail out since dealing with elves, just because. Hey, you! Did not make myself clear. You can't pass through here! Oh, I know that. I brought a gift for your leader. See? But I have to give it to him personally. All right, then. Wait right here. Waiting. He says I can go, right? The chief wants to see you right away. Get in there. I will. Do you need a hearing test? I said, the chief wants to see you right away. Go in. Fine. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, peasant, for your oh-so-humble gift. Uh, by the way, I'm clever ding clutch nipper little biffle poopy woof and bun bun until crack and lick the ratchet face the 40 feudal lord of Odeberg. Gesundheit. But you can call me Lord Venuncio. How do you say that without biting your tongue? Oh, enough about me. Too much Venuncio could be bad for your health. <laughs> Say, you seem to be one who expects big rewards for good work. I was thinking, do you want to join our cause? Sorry, but I'm really busy right now. Oh, that's such a shame. We could have used your help recovering the treasure. Treasure? Did you say treasure? Yes, you see, we of the Rebel Army are planning a heist of about three tons of gold. In fact, there's a strategy meeting taking place very soon. Hmm, too bad you can't make it. Three tons? Tons? Woohoo! Sign me up! Ah, my eager new friend. Right this way. Um, sometime I feel this isn't uh, going to work out. I don't see anyone here. What are you talking about? What, what's going on here, Venuncio? If that is your name. <laughs> you are so gullible. There's a reward of three million gold on your little group's heads. Or, didn't you know that? <laughs> you can't expect me to let that go now, can you? Say what? Oh, don't play coy with Venuncio. I know that you are the three that destroyed Bountyville. Muttonhead told me all about you. Muttonhead? Oh, if I get my hands on that lying old windbag, I'll wring his neck. Your pretty little corpses are going to finance my whole revolution! <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. Your fate is sealed. All that's left is for you to die. And for posterity's sake, I do hope you die gracefully. <laughs> Who thought? Someone more annoying than Slick. But... 
Now we need to find a way out of here. And action, let me see if I can get that with attached weapon. Okay, that's not good. We're gonna have to do this fast. And... Oh, I missed it. I didn't want to hit that one. I want to hit you. Now I gotta use this. Ah, come on! Let me hit you! I'm just not getting the right aim on it. That's not good. Well, this might not be good. Because it's not letting me hit those guys. Okay, this isn't good. For some reason, it wasn't letting me hit those guys, and now I'm pretty much dead. God damn it, I didn't save. Well, I'm gonna die here. But now I've gotta do all that over again. But, I won't, uh. You know, I'll spare you those, uh. I'm sorry, guy. I just wasn't able to do it fast enough. But anyway, I'm going to end that here. I'll redo the uh, level until I get to that area, and then uh, we will continue next time. <laughs>